What if your city was slowly vanishing and no one was talking about it? From the beaches of Miami to the heart of the Pacific, entire regions could be swallowed by the ocean in our lifetime. And the scariest part? For some places, it's already happening. Let's break down the sinking truth. Sea levels are rising and fast. Scientists say we could see oceans climb by up to 10 feet by the year 2100. That's not science fiction. That's a real projection from NASA and NOAA based on current warming trends. But why is this happening? As the Earth heats up, ice at the poles melts into the ocean. At the same time, warmer water naturally expands. It's a double hit, and it's lifting sea levels all around the world. Even worse, in some cities, the ground itself is sinking due to overdevelopment and groundwater loss. The result? Coastal flooding is no longer rare. It's becoming routine. You might want to visit Miami Beach while you still can, because it might not be there forever. Projections show that by 2100, parts of Florida, Louisiana, California, and Washington could be submerged. And not just during storms, even on clear, sunny days. This is already happening in Miami, where high tides flood neighborhoods with no rain in sight. It's called sunny day flooding, and it's becoming disturbingly normal. Curious if your city's on the list? You can search Sea Level Rise Viewer on Google. NOAA's interactive tool shows exactly which U.S. addresses could go underwater if trends continue. But the U.S. isn't the only country at risk. Some countries are already facing an existential threat. Fiji, a tropical paradise, sits low on the ocean and right in the path of cyclones. Rising tides have forced communities to protect their shores using old tires and mangrove trees, natural defenses against erosion and storm surges. Nearby, Vanuatu made headlines when it became one of the first nations to relocate entire villages due to flooding, and that was back in 2005. The Marshall Islands, built on fragile coral atolls, are seeing sea levels rise three to four inches per decade. At this rate, they could face over 100 flood days a year by the end of the century. Studies suggest nearly 40% of the buildings in the capital could be underwater. And then there's Tuvalu, possibly the first country that could become completely uninhabitable due to rising seas. Its narrowest point is just 65 feet wide. That's less than the length of a swimming pool. Every inch of sea rise hits hard. These places are sounding alarms. But are we listening? It's not just island nations in trouble. In Europe, Lisbon, Valencia, and even Rome are projected to be at risk. But nowhere is the situation more delicate than in the Netherlands. Today, a quarter of the Netherlands is already below sea level, and almost half the country is just a few feet above it. But here's what makes them different. They're fighting back. Using massive canals, windmills, dikes, and innovative engineering, the Dutch have reclaimed nearly 20% of their land from the sea. While many nations are retreating, they're literally building forward. But how do scientists know all of this? How can they track changes that seem almost invisible? Modern satellites don't just orbit Earth, they're measuring it. Using something called satellite altimetry, scientists shoot radar signals down to the ocean and time how long they take to bounce back. It's like echolocation, but with millimeter-level precision. This technology lets researchers monitor even the smallest shifts in sea level anywhere on Earth. The result? A global map of rising water that gets more accurate by the year. And the data's clear. In the last 30 years, the rate of sea level rise has doubled. There's still time to act. Countries like the Netherlands are showing what's possible. And in places like Fiji and the Solomon Islands, local communities are turning to nature, planting mangroves, building stone walls, and reinforcing coastlines. It's not just about protecting land. It's about protecting lives, cultures, and futures. The truth is, we're standing on the edge of something big, but it doesn't have to end in disaster. What we do now individually and globally will decide what stays above water and what doesn't. So did this open your eyes a bit? If it did, hit like and share this with someone who still thinks climate change is just a theory. Or if you're ready for more mind-blowing truths about our planet, check out the next video.